I'm here to speak on some man. I'm here to speak on CVG. This dude named CVG and what's really going on. Like, a lot of people want to know the truth behind this CVG guy and what's really going on. So I'm going to give you guys the honest, open truth as to what's going on. And why, if anybody comes in here saying that I'm doing this and doing that and what I'm not, don't believe it. You see, a couple years ago, I ended up retiring from dancing for good. And it's not because I hated it. No, I loved it. You know, I used to love dancing, man. I would do it all out throughout high school. Had a great time with it. But then just over time, man, my body just was not having it. So I made the conscious decision to do one last dance routine and then, you know, hang things up, which I did. Uh, no, I didn't. But the day that I decided to retire and I made that announcement and I told everybody that I wasn't doing it no more, this CVG guy decided to try to force me to do it. All the shit that's been going on with these people like that guy that I just banned, the reason why they're doing all this is because I refuse to dance. Because my body cannot physically handle that anymore. I mean, come on, dude. I'm 33 years old, man. I'm getting up there in age. My body isn't built for that no more. I mean, maybe when I was 23, yeah. When I was 23, 24, 25, yeah, I could do it. He basically tried to force me to do it by doing like doing what he's doing now, essentially. Like basically saying, hey, you know, you're gonna dance for me or this is what's gonna happen. And what he means by this is what's gonna happen, he proceeds to spread lies and rumors and that's not true to try to ruin my name. He gets people to falsely report me. Um, he gets people to go after my friends and family. Hell, this this dude right here, CVG, that, that CVG guy, he's the whole reason why me and my best friend of 17 years, Jake, are no longer talking to each other. He's the reason. Like, this is a dude that is responsible for having stuff stolen from my house. The reason why that guy showed up to my house and I got arrested. Um, he's the reason why a lot of our went missing. He's the one who had somebody follow my stepdad to his job and egg the inside of his car after breaking in. And yeah, he sits there and like makes all these cover stories of why he's doing it. But the real reason is because I refuse to dance for him. Because this dumbass does not realize that I don't have it in me anymore. You know? I 
I don't have that kind of energy that I used to have. Dude, in the morning, it used to take me two, three minutes to get up. Wake up in the morning, get up. Now it takes me like 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes almost. That's how you know you're getting old. When you're taking 30 to 40 minutes just to get up, you know you're getting up there in age. But apparently this CBG guy wants to act like he owns me. Which is... And believe me, I, mean, I would love to sue for slander, but there's only one problem. I don't know where the dude lives, and I don't know his real name. Otherwise, I would. I really would if I, if I had had his real name, and I would. But unfortunately, I don't have either of those, so I can't do anything, unfortunately. Which sucks. Because, like, I'm not normally one to promote violence. You guys know this. I'm always trying to help you guys out in any way that I can. But I'll be honest with you, man. CBG is one of those punk that needs to get got. He really does. He needs to get got and quick. Because people like him never last. Like, this dude wants to sit there and act like he owns me, but nobody owns me. You can't own another human being. And because I refuse to do what he wants, he runs around making up all these lies and doing to get me over and it's like it's total like I'm over here I'm trying to live my life but I can't even do that. Like, what the f Like, I can't even live my life in peace without this guy pulling some That's simple. He wants me to dance for his enjoyment. That's all it is. He wants me to dance for, for his enjoyment. Because in his mind, I'm not good at anything else. To him, all I'm good for is dancing and that's it. That's all I'm good for according to him. Oh, I know it is, dude. I know it is, Kano. Believe me, dude, I know it is. Like I said, I retired from dancing a couple years ago because, like I said, my body got older and it was time for me to hang up my dance shoes. I was, you know, I was at my limit. And once I retired from that, that's when I decided to shift all my focus into recording my music, creating the music that, you know, you guys want to hear and have fun. And, you know, also, you know, work on game development and stuff like that. And for those of y'all that don't know, I actually do have a stream game development. I have worked with a few not major companies, but small independent ones that are super chill as So, I mean, you know, I decided after I retired from, you know, dancing that I was going to shift all my focus into writing, recording music, 
uh, recording albums, working on game development, working on artwork, working on my clothing brand, because I got tired of it. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm pretty sure you're thinking about someone else there, buddy boy. Like I said, man, this that's been going on with me is fucking stupid. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there that do want to see me do better. But here's the thing. How am I supposed to do better if no one leaves me alone long enough to be able to do better? Like, people sit there and they say, that, like, oh, you know, we want to see you change, we want to see you change. Oh, wait, how am I supposed to do that if you don't leave me the f alone? I'm sorry, but I'm don't just change right there overnight. That don't happen. Oh, I'm not, dude. I'm not. I'm just speaking the truth on what really goes on. I'm just speaking the honest to God truth about what these people do. Like, dude, there is a... This dude literally has a mass of following up on Facebook of over 2.9 thousand people. All because I won't dance for him. He takes these 2.9 thousand people and spreads all kinds of lies about me. Makes up sh Spreads rumors around. Does all kinds of sh to get me in trouble for stuff that I didn't even do. Like hell, right now I'm sitting on a three day ban from talking to my friends again. Because of this guy. Which sucks, which is why I had to make a spare Facebook just so I could talk to my friends. Like, it's literally dumb. All the kids I want to dance for, this guy's going around with my family, with my friends. This is the same that has stolen off my family's porch and. He's the reason why I ended up getting locked up overnight and then let out the next day. He's the reason why I had to go to court. Dude, this guy is the reason why just so much has happened to me and my family over the last couple years. And it's stupid. Like, the guy needs to grow up and move on. I'm not dancing. I have no plan to come out of retirement from that so CBG I hope you see this man I hope you know that I'm not coming out of retirement for you I'm not coming out of retirement at all when it comes to dancing I am retired my body cannot physically handle it anymore dude I'm 33 years old you're like what 18 you're young as if you want to see someone dance, why don't you do it yourself? Why don't you dance yourself, dude? If you're that interested in it, man, do like I did. Watch the Step Up films. Watch the movie Save the Last Dance. Study that. That's what I did. Yeah, here's the thing. Aware of myself is one, or was one of CVG's foot soldiers. Aware of myself worked for CVG. CVG sent aware of myself over here.
And that's the thing, like, this dude don't realize that what he's doing is going to get someone hurt. Hey, Kano, that's not a bad idea, man. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm with that idea. We'll have to come up with something, but that's still not a bad idea, bro. That is not a bad idea. Like, and I'm not even joking, dude. Like, to give CVG a taste of his own medicine would be... Dude, it'd be awesome. Like, it really would be awesome. Mm. Like, that really would be awesome, man. To see CVG pay for what he did. Yeah, for real. Hey, yo, Marty, if you do see this live stream, man, here's an idea for you, man. You're always wanting to see someone dance, right, Nick? Right, Marty? Make CVG dance for you, bro. For real, man, make CVG dance for you. Okay, I'm not even gonna remember who you are in the morning, so why would I remember you now? Hey, the more you know, I don't remember half the trolls that I've banned by the next day, so why would I remember you? To me, you're just another troll on the list for the chopping block. Hey, Andrew, what's up, man? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? I haven't really had too many run-ins with the guy, so I can't really speak on him really that much, if that makes sense. I've had like maybe one or two run-ins with him, so I can't really speak on how he is. Or I can't, you know, place any, I can't place any opinions on somebody that I've only talked to like one or two times. Like, I can't, you know. Like, if I were to sit down and talk to the guy and get to know him, then yeah, I could make a, like, an honest opinion of him. But I've not talked to the guy, really, so I can't really make a judgment call on that. I can't really speak on that, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm not going to judge somebody based on, like, one or two chance interactions. Like, the only time I make judgment calls is if I see somebody doing something. Like, take Daniel Larson, for example. That dude actually punched a cop. He actually did something. But as far as I can tell, dude, Jared Genesis, he hasn't really done anything, so I can't really speak on what he's done. I can't say anything good or bad about him. I'm just, I'm neutral as far as that goes. 
Hey, Eduardo, what up? And yeah, he is. He definitely is. I don't know who the hell Jupiter is. Obviously, I know. Obviously, everybody knows who Daniel Larson is. But I have no idea who the hell Jupiter is. I'll have to look him up. Oh, I definitely will whenever I get the chance to, for sure. And somehow, Kano, I'm not surprised. Somehow, I'm not surprised, dude. I definitely, I'll definitely do that. Well, like I said, man, like, all the shit that's gone on me over the last few years, over the last two, two and a half years, have been caused by, C, by this CVG. He started up early to mid last year and has just run rampant ever since. And it's it's disgusting. It really is. And I'm sorry, but if you ask me, people like CBG don't need to have a YouTube channel. People like Marty don't deserve to have a YouTube channel. And I am going to say this, like, because I always get the same question over and over and over again. You know, if I had the money that I'm supposed to be getting, what would I do? And my honest opinion is this. There are three different things I would do. One, obviously help out my family. Two, help out my friends that are music artists that could use the money and use the help and the equipment. I would help get them the gear that they need to get them going. And the third thing would actually be to start up a foundation to battle back against cyberbullying. You know, give people the open resources that they need to actually be able to legally, you know, fight this. Shit. You know, have an actual team dedicated to actually going after these people that do this kind of shit. Because I was in that position once. And in some ways, I still am in that position. It might not be as bad as it was, but I'm still in that position to an extent. And because I don't want to see anybody go through what I've had to go through. Because I've gone through that shit. And it's, it's not a fun place to be. It's not. Am I not doing interviews? Not right now. And I know a lot of people ask me why am I not doing interviews? And it's because a lot of them try to get me tricked up. They try to trick me up by leading me into a conversation that would, you know, basically be getting me to admit to false allegations. Like, they would try to get me to falsely admit the shit that I didn't do. Or try to falsely incriminate me. And that's why I avoid interviews for the most part. Now, I have done a couple with, you know, actual good friends of mine that I actually know in real life. That are very good people. They know the situation. They know what's up. 
and they didn't do any, and they didn't do anything to try to lead me down that road. And for that, to them, I want to say that I am beyond grateful to you guys for that. I seriously do appreciate that. Yo, Darth, what up? I actually have, and I have found a lot of them, but even with those, there's only so much that they can do. Like, there's only so much that an anti-cyberbullying group can actually do. Not gonna lie, dude, that was a surprise, man. I was actually shocked by that. Yo, mad shout out to my boy Darby Allen, man. I hope he gets better soon, man. I really do hope that Darby gets better soon, dude. I agree with that 100%, Darth. He ended up breaking his arm. I didn't catch how he broke it, but he ended up breaking his arm. Now, if you were to ask me who my favorite tag team was of all time, oh, uh, it's all good. It's all good, man. Yo, Andrew, it's all love, bro. But like I said, man, I hope you understand why I don't do interviews, bro. I do hope that you genuinely understand that, bro. Not to mention, dude, I've had so many people asking to do interviews, do interviews, do interviews, and I'm just like, I did so many interviews a couple years ago, man, and I was just like, I need a breather. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I've done so many interviews that it's insane. Like, the list is actually insane for the amount of interviews I've done. Which is why I'm taking a break from interviews for a while. Hey, Steve, what up, dude? But if you were to ask me who my favorite tag teams, like my favorite tag teams are in wrestling in general, number one, the Hardy Boys, Matt and Jeff Hardy. Personal favorite is Jeff, but I love the Hardy Boys in general. Absolutely love them. And then my second top favorite would have to be Darby Allen and Sting. Like, for me, Darby Allen and Sting are just an insane tag team. Like, I can honestly say that they work really, really well together. They really do. Favorite wrestler of all time. Oh, there's a there's a couple of them. One, Undertaker. You can't, you, you can't go without having Undertaker on that list. You can't. But for me, Undertaker... Uh, Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, and Darby Allen. Yo, Adam Copeland and Christian Cage, bro, they need to team up, man. They need to team up, bro. Edge and Christian need to team up, dude. Straight up. Yo, Stone Cold's good. Definitely Stone Cold. He's definitely on that list for sure.
I actually just mentioned that a few minutes ago. The Hardy Boys are definitely on that list, bro. Straight up. Trolls are really out tonight, ain't they? Just another troll. I would, and speaking of which, to that dude that says that I that like to that guy that said in my chat earlier when I wasn't looking that he that I have you on not you three keys but to the dude directly and that says that I have him as a mod on an alternate account. Here's the thing dude. I'll find your ass out and when I do I will ban you. And I will go in and I will unban the people that wanted to donate. Trust and believe that. I will find out who you are. I will ban you and I will unban the ones that wanted to donate to me. So, just know that that's coming. The, yo, Zilafato, yes. Another member of Roman's family, yes. Oh, he is, straight up. Favorite color? Oof. For me, crimson red, black, white, and sapphire blue. Now, if we're talking teams colors, man, I'm a Seahawks kid, man. Seattle Seahawks from my hometown, dude. Gotta represent. And the reason why I say Sapphire Blue as one of my favorite colors is because my birthstone is actually Sapphire. Which, ironically, just happens to be one of my favorite gemstones. So, yeah. It kind of fits. What can I say? Oh, dude, Vatu is a beast, man. I've been keeping an eye on him for a good minute now, man. He's good. He's definitely good. I'm not sure yet. Yo, they need to, man. That'd be a good angle. MJF, not a big fan. Adam Cole, yes. Because, dude, I remember when Adam Cole ran with Undisputed back on NXT. Yo, Strawberry, what up? Hmm. 
Yes, that needs to happen. The Hey, thanks, Steve. Appreciate it, man. You know, it sucks that I don't have the rights to that song thanks to William Glory Hall, dude. Like, it sucks that because of William Glory Hall stealing that song, I don't own it, which sucks. And I'm the one that wrote and recorded that. Are you kidding me, dude? Dude, I own GTA 5 Cross Gen Edition, as well as the original number 5. I've also played all the others as well. No, not really. He's just more or less background noise for whoever at this point. He's just kind of background noise doing whatever he's doing. So, it is what it is. But the fact that he actually managed to steal the one song that everybody loves that was a hit for me anyway kind of sucks which is why what I'm thinking about doing is taking it back by taking the song down and remixing it and doing what I need to do yo bet dude I did let me down for a few runs dude yeah CMG is mainly the one that's doing all this now it's mainly him and his slack jawed lackeys that are doing and Kano that's what I was just talking about doing is taking it down you know and remixing it and redoing it so that he no longer gets reaps the benefits from that has he tried to call me recently Hey, let me put it this way. Can't nobody call me right now because right now my phone currently is not working. Like, it's working, but I need to get a new phone because the phone part of it no longer works right now. So I have to get a whole new number because I'm changing plans. So, even if somebody wanted to, they couldn't get a hold of me by phone. The only... I mean, unless you want to really count Instagram as the phone part of it, because that's where I do talk to a lot of my other fans at. Or not other fans, but like my friends at. Is on Instagram. Like a lot of my really close friends and family, I have a lot of them on Instagram. So, I'll call them on there. So... Technically, I have a backup phone app. Kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. It definitely does. Because now I don't have to worry about trolls leaving 50 million text messages saying... Like, leaving a 50,000 word thesis text message just for them to say how much they hate my guts. Because that's what they'll do. They will literally send a chapter book of a message of why they don't like me. Oh my god. I wouldn't even know where to begin, dude. I've gotten so many of them. Like, dude, I've gotten so many funny-ass text messages that it's just like, what the f***? Like, I couldn't name off just one number or one message that I've gotten a funny text message from. Now, I will admit, the funny ones, they did do a lot of those prank calls. Like, the ones where, like, hey, you talking to my girl? 
uh, like that. I have gotten a few of those. Those are funny. And I've done some funny responses. I have done some smart ass responses, man. Let me tell you. I've come out with some smart ass dude. But yeah. I didn't already. Oh yeah, plenty of times. They sent plenty of dude. Just yesterday they were doing up to have a and y'all are gonna laugh at this. But they were dumb enough to have an HIV kit sent to my house. Oh like, bitch, I haven't done anything in over four years. I don't have HIV dumb. I'm pretty sure I'm clean. Uh, what did I say in response? God, I don't remember, dude. It was just some on the spot, off the wall. By the way, I got a bit of a, not really a, well, I guess you could call it a challenge. I want to see if you guys can guess these. Like I did. If you guys know anybody that would definitely take this challenge, man, bro, y'all should try this on them. I'm telling you right now, man, you definitely should try this challenge on your friends. See if they, see if they get as many right as you guys probably can. <laughs> Put on theater mode. My name is Will Ramos. I do vocals for Laura Shore, and I'm here to decide whether a sound is a man or a beast, whatever that may be. I'm excited. I'm gonna kill this one, I think. <laughs> That's definitely a man. Definitely a man. I'm gonna. What are you guys saying? Are you guys saying that's a man or a beast? Sorry about the infinite loop, guys. But what do y'all think, man? Are you guys think that's a man or a beast? We got one for Beast. All right, let's go. This thing. Dude, 
that's so heavy. It's a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. Cannibal corpse. Not a man. What? Okay. Wait. That wasn't a man. That was not a man. All right, let me hear that one more time. I thought it was a good one. What is that? That's a grizzly bear. Wow! You know, you hear that in the middle of the night when you go camping? You're dead. <laughs> it's not wrong. Already. We're not doing so hot. Hit it! What do you guys think? Man or beast? <laughs> what do you guys think, man? Is that a man or is that a beast? We got uh, one for man. All right, two for man. Okay. All right, that one really, that one's definitely a human. Yes! Mm. Nailed it. Let's go. Do you know who it is? No, definitely not. That is suffocation. Oh, dude. Fantastic. Good dance. Man. I actually just Jordan got into that recently, man. Good, good dance. Story, yeah. Some guy was like, you know, I'm going to lock down middle of suffocation. You're like, what's in the middle of suffocation? They were in a car dealership in the middle of Wyoming, too. I was like, okay. No, that's so far. One for two. All right, let's get it. All right, for that one, man, what do you guys think? Man or beast? I uh, got one for beast, one for man, two for beast, three for beast. All right, let's see what we got. All right, that was definitely a human. Yes! Is it the guy from Wicking the Cadaver? No. Yeah. Damn. Diabetes. I was in the right realm. I was in the right realm of fans, kind of. <laughs> Great. Look at my god, the fact that it was a human race, okay? Two for three. Okay. Alright, what do you guys think, man? Man or beast? What do y'all think, man? You got two for beast. One for man. Let's see what it is. So far, Lily is kicking ass. And that is definitely an animal. Yes! Let's go with alligator. Pig. The pig? I should have got that one right. Damn. I got the animal right, though. I'm halfway there. This is going to be brutal. Oh, God. <laughs> What do y'all think? Man or beast? Y'all, I don't even gotta say, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Damn, we got one, two, three, four for man. Alright, so let's see. Say that as a human, but I think it's an animal. Yes. <laughs> let's go with. That's what I 
Kevin Campbell sounds like? Damn, that, that's fucking hard. Dude, Campbell's gotta be doing fucking guest vocals out here. Come on. <laughs> Ha ha ha, I had to throw in the Peterson butt ass kit. <laughs> Alright, so what do y'all think? Y'all already know what to do. Man or beast, y'all already know what it is. Hit it! Let's see what you guys got. <laughs> what the fuck, Rumpel? You're weird. <laughs> Man, but if you do that, that's on you, bro. That's on you, dog. Ain't no way trying to do that, but hey, you do you. <laughs> so we got one for man, one for beast. But uh, speaking of which, I just now caught your name, so sorry, Rumpel, you gotta go, dude. That name is not cool. Maybe if you change up your name, then I might let you back. What's going on? Hi, right, Steve, looks like you're the deciding factor, man. What do you think that sound was? Man or beast? Put in your answer, bro. You're the tiebreaker on this, man. What do you think? Was that sound that you just heard a few minutes ago a man or a beast? Put your, put your thing in now, see what you got. Uh, beast. Alright. First of all, definitely human. Who? I'm bad at this, I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is getting brutal. I'm gonna say... What do y'all think? Put in your answers, man. What do you guys think that was? All right, so we got one, two, three for beast. Oh, definitely an animal. But it sounded more like a shower head with like a lot of reverb going on. You know what I mean? Like you're just taking a nice shower. So I'm gonna say snake. Fart out. A what? Fart out. That's what that one sounds like. It's like, like a screeching sound. Maybe. Oh, that sounds horrifying. I would not want to hear that in the middle of the night. Here's the thing about Medicaid. You don't have to be stuck with the plan you have. Right now, you can choose care. God. All right, so yeah, two for man, three for man. I don't agree with y'all on this one, man. It's been a while since I've, I'll be honest with you, it's been a long while since I've watched it, so I'm, I'm gonna agree with y'all, man. I'm, I'm gonna say man as well, because <laughs> I, I don't really remember the answers, so I can't really say, but I'm gonna go with man as well, just because of the vocal tone. I want to say that that's a human. I need to get over that. <laughs> Okay, my instincts say it's a human, but my gut says it ain't. It's an animal. Mm. That's me. 
<laughs> yes! Let's go, dude. That's what I like to hear. That was a, that was a trick question right there. You got me. I was like, I, was like mm. I don't know. You can be an animal, dude. I'd be like, do some animal sounds like uh, voice acting. You're hired. Definitely human. Come on. This is all old. Some cool death metal I'm feeling right now. This is not up my alley, I'm gonna tell you right now. So we're gonna go, we're gonna shoot for the stars here. And we're gonna go with Cannibal Corpse again. Oh my god, dude. And now we're turning to nothingness, dude. Good fucking album right there, bro. Good ass fucking album by those guys. And good song, too. And then you just like, they like replicated my voice with like an animal somehow through some like crazy digital audio software. I would have been like, bro, that's fucked up. <laughs> Ah, what do you guys think, man? Man or beast? We got one for man, one for beast. Not gonna lie though, that one that Will Ramos did where it was him, bro, that was a trick question. We got two for Beast. Let's find out. That's a human. I couldn't even tell you what man that is. That is a Kragen. Oh, dude, they're insane. I should've known by his snake squeals. He has those snake squeals that are just like ear piercing. <laughs> Yo, I love Black Tail Model and Murderer. Yes. I have not listened to them in a while. I need to rewatch their shit. I have not heard their shit in a while. I need to check their stuff out again. It's been a while. But what do y'all think, man? Man or Beast? Which one do you think that one is? Uh, damn, all three men on this one, okay. That's an animal. What kind of animal? Let's see, what animal sounds massive? It has to be a massive animal. I want to go back with alligator, because I feel like at some point we're going to get an alligator sound. But I'm going to go with lion. Close. Close. Tiger. Oh, dude. Dude, I was just talking about tigers earlier today. Tigers are the same. Okay, fun fact for you right now. A baby and a tiger's vocal cords are exactly the same. And as you get older, your vocal cords stretch out and start to not become like a tiger. But if there was a really, really, really fat, like 400 pound baby and they roar and they scream, it would sound like a tiger. Fun fact, there you go. I'm just trying to imagine what a 400 pound baby looks like. Oh, it would be just horrible. <laughs> What do y'all think on that one, man? Y'all take it easy. Will be safe? Hope you have a good night.
And yo, look, thanks for sticking around, man. And hope you have a good rest. And I will catch you tomorrow. Also, for all y'all wondering, am I going to be doing any uh, stickers anytime soon? Yes, I am. I am currently working on some custom emojis and stickers for you guys. I got like a bunch of them that I'm working on. So that um, whenever you guys do subscribe, like once I'm able to get my stuff set up and you guys do subscribe, y'all be able to get some dope ass fucking stuff. Still working on it. All I gotta do is get the phone set up and then we're good. Alright, take it easy, Steve. Be safe, bro. Hey, yo, Kano, what you think, man? You thinking this is man or beast, dog? Take your pick. What do you think? So y'all won't go man. That's what she had. That's an animal. That is a... That's an alligator. That's a ram. That's what a ram sounds like? That sounded more like an alligator than you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm killing it. Okay, now you already know what it is, man. And by the way, man, this is definitely a game that y'all can play with, like, your friends or whatever. Like, this is definitely a challenge y'all can definitely do with your friends, for sure. I know when I first did it, bro. I got, like, maybe two out of the whole fucking set, right? That's a human. Oh, man. That guy looks more like a beast or two. I don't know what he's I couldn't, I don't know what they are. Oceano. Wow. I see, I always thought Oceano's, I uh, thought Adam wearing the vocals would be more like, I don't know, he has a specific sound to it that I just can't even, I can't replicate. Honestly, I don't know anybody that really can replicate it. I'm starting to notice a trend where you expect to disappoint people. What do you think, man? You think that's a man or a beast? Now this is the this is the one that got me. This is the one that got me tricked up. This is the this is one of the ones where I have failed so bad. Hey, I won't admit, dude. Hey, can y'all? I know you're gonna laugh at this one, dude. But this one, his comments on this had me laughing. That's me when I step on a Lego in the middle of the night, and I'm just ah! okay. That has to be a human. Wait, no, it's a goat. No, no, that's a dog. Oh my god. That looks like a dog that's not want to go for a walk. Cody! 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 Oh my god! If you hear that in the middle of the night, something's wrong. You're like, I gotta go. I gotta get my roommate. Is he okay? What's going on? How do you even train your dog to do that? <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> Not gonna lie, dude. I dude, I lost so bad on that one, bro. I've got that one wrong so fucking bad. But it's definitely funny. I 
know that it's them. And it almost sounds like to the hellfire, I'm not gonna lie. Just imagine you just like did like replicated my voice with like an animal somehow. Oh, where do I know that? Take your thing, man. What do you think that one is, bro? Take your pick. And I'm like hitting my palm. Hit it again. Hit it again. is an animal of some sort. That's a Tasmanian devil. That's a Tasmanian devil? Oh, God. That's to the Hellfire. I know it's not, but it could be. Is that it? I have no idea what that is. I'm going to go... Take your pick, brother man. What you think? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Go with the human. Yes! That was a 50 50 chance that I was going to get that one. Um, I don't know what those are. I don't know. Damn. Damn. I was like, that sounds crazy. I've never heard anything like that. I don't I never listen to Dave's side. Really? I'm not gonna lie. You wanna listen to me, man? I listen to the freaking, like, you'd be surprised if you heard what I listen to. Y'all already know what it is, man. I ain't even gotta say it, man. Y'all already know what to put in. So yeah, man. Okay. I have no idea what that what I even heard. Animal. <laughs> what was that? That was cattle decapitation. Oh, dude, Travis, I don't do shit. That guy's insane, dude. People would probably read me for that. Be like, oh, this is not a Travis song. No. <laughs> An animal. Damn, 
Michael J.O. Uh, okay, what you got, bro? It's a bird. And there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for having me. I guessed all the animals right, as far as I'm concerned. So I hope what you guys are watching, you got hopefully more than I got right. Because, you know, I got close, but you let me know what how much you guys got. I'd love to hear it. Now, if you would. Now, if you do want to try this challenge with your friends, here's the link to the video right here. Like, if anybody wants to try this challenge with their friends, bro, there's the link to the video right there, man. I know when I first did it, like I said, bro, I suck. I'm not going to lie, bro. But uh, yo, with that being said, man, I am about to bounce for the night because I am about to crash on stuff. I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know the real truth about what this CVG clown's been pulling and everything that's been going on. Um, but yeah, I will be speaking on more about it tomorrow. But right now, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to crash. So, I'll catch you guys in the morning, man. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, you already know what to do. And, uh, yeah. Love you guys. And I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.